You know, I was saving this video for a morning like this where I have the stuff I'm recommended to watch and, and suggested, but then I want to go find something myself to react to because that's honestly what I was doing in the beginning. But, hey, this was on trending a couple of days ago, and I was like, what the fuck? I have to make a video out of watching this. Why not? And add a bunch of commentary so welcome back folks to another video sending out a lot of love to you what i'm forgetting to say in my videos now which would be a pretty good incentive is you don't have to but if you want to see more videos like this subscribe and 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 dislike the video or like it if you want it's all up to you but this is our hermit crabs op let me stop wasting time I was trying to get past the 30 second mark so I could curse my ass off. This is by Tier Zoo. So I would like to say Tier Zoo. If you would like uh if you'd like me to take this down or anything like that, just let me know. Uh when I when I watch things other than trailers that I'm recommended, I like to just make sure the creator knows. And if I forget in videos, then my uh my thing never changes. So I will take it down if anyone wants me to. Anyways, our Hermit Crabs OP. Let's get started. Pokemon music is not copyright, right? Fuck! I'm gonna have to apply this to mine. I think. Alright, I'll do it when I... Okay, I'll do it later. Oh shit, it spit it out. Tier Zoo. At first glance... Beaches may seem like one of the most relaxed, casual biomes in the entirety of the game. Rootscape music. But upon further analysis, it becomes clear that beaches are just as intense a battleground as every other biome. The fight for survival never stops, and so of course, there have been a wide variety of strategies and builds that players have come up with I'm to give dead. themselves the best odds. In particular, the beach's lack of plant cover makes stealth strategies less effective, yeah. which in turn creates an essential need for <laughs> other ways of. <laughs> Oh shit, I was trying to figure out what the fuck was going on here. I don't know what kind of bird this is, but you see the crab doing the dodges? Avoiding attacks from predators, especially aerial predators. Crustaceans in particular are at a pretty big disadvantage. What the fuck is that they don't thing? have the best terrestrial movement speed and don't fare very well in single combat against birds. However, there is one build is that, that has a developed a unique fish? strategy to give itself better survival odds. The hermit crab. Hermit crab. So, crabs oh, as a nah. whole aren't all that powerful. In fact, because of their extremely low skill floor, they're a bit of a noob trap, which is why you see so many cases of players specking their characters into the exact same set of abilities. Oh, I love without how he ever actually becoming a I love how he wrote this. Holy shit, that's funny. He's got the Black Ops music and the fucking how care how players spec their character. This is fucking good. Um before I w before I continued, I wanted to say that I like that school. Dominant meta threat. They're, the cuttlefish. Crab-like builds do tend to have decent base stats, particularly in the realm of defense and power. Oh, it's so literally moonscape noises might be too. Surprised oh, to learn that her that's clean. He's doing it in like a RuneScape type style. Oh, that's so. Crabs are well. That, oh, it's making me remnant. Okay, let me pay attention to the video. Well below the norm in both of these areas. I love it. Compared to similarly sized crustaceans, their crushing vice griff attack is nothing special, a little on the weak side in fact. And while most crustaceans have a tough calcified exoskeleton that functions as sturdy armor against a variety of attacks, hermit crabs are one of the few crustacean builds with a very obvious unarmored weak point that can be attacked for massive damage. However, as you might have guessed, simply looking at the hermit crab's base stats is a bit misleading. The hermit crab's signature ability, armor scavenge, more than makes up for this weakness, as they it allows the hermit crab to significantly boost its stats to levels that would be otherwise unattainable. They're fucking the stat weird. The this looking. ability's effects are most concentrated in is defense. While the hermit crab's defense stat is one of the lowest in the game when unequipped, as long as they've managed to secure a nice shell, their defense jumps to one of the highest in the game, essentially matching the stats of the shell's original owner. <laughs> the most desirable shells are those of snails, though clam and scallop shells can also do the job. 
As long as the hermit crab has found a shell to equip. Oh, they look so weird. Oh my god, the little runescape shit Normally, again. <laughs> defense stats this high would require extreme investment of I'm pretty sure those are the little the little creature noises when you um like uh when you hit the little like animals or something in runescape i'm pretty sure they make that noise i can't remember oh it's been forever since i played runescape but what i was gonna say was um holy shit first of all this this video is just funny as fuck to watch at 6 a.m i'm glad i saved this um the spiral it's almost like i wonder uh you know because mathematics and all that jazz in the fibonacci sequence i wonder if you can find that in their spiral i'm pretty sure you could the golden ratio spiral or whatever the fuck I, it's been a while since i looked at anything with the golden ratio but i just noticed the snails like i don't know why there's just a random thing i want to throw in there solution points and would necessitate best reactor on youtube come on now any other reactor mention the fibonacci sequence or the fucking i don't some even know serious if that was the name anymore viable. However, the hermit crab is able to maintain pretty well-rounded stats through the use of this ability. It's not just defense that can be buffed via the armor scavenge ability, though. The I'm wide selection deep. of patterns and coloration available among different shells armor means that a hermit crab ability. can pick and choose what sorts of environments they would like to receive a stealth bonus in. Smooth, lightly colored shells will offer bonus camouflage on the beach, while the darker, more jagged shells will offer better camo in reefs. Swapping between shells isn't the only way hermit crabs can augment oh their stats. Oh my gosh, <laughs> please tell me that you guys get the trimming, the trimming joke. Oh, does he do this with every video? Oh my gosh, did you know Jagas blocked your password? Watch. Selling level, oh my gosh, just look up RuneScape, like, I don't know how you look it up, chat spam? Like, Aldo. Oh the shells my gosh. themselves can be augmented to boost Buying stats snail cell 10k. Buying One GF. particularly advanced technique is equipping sea anemones it's so to the surface of the shell, sea allowing the hermit crab to deal venom damage on contact. This That's is important badass. because the hermit crab's basic attacks tend to be pretty mediocre on their own. This is just universally bite? true, as the coconut crab, a variation of the hermit crab build, packs one of the strongest crushing grips in the entire game. Strong Damn. enough, in fact, that coconut crabs actually drop the armor scavenge ability once the reach size big enough to rely solely on their claws for defense however this is an exception and also something coconut crabs I don't know why. only unlock at high levels Ugh. before that their game plan is identical to regular hermit crabs meaning these absolute powerhouses still rely <laughs> on the armor scavenge eyes. ability in order to maintain meta relevancy their fucking eyes upgrading man, the hermit crab just... stats with good shells and add-ons can make or break the viability of the hermit crab build Unfortunately, securing a proper shell is becoming more and more difficult in the current meta. In part, this is due to the acidification of the ocean, which is a huge nerf to the viability of snails because it causes their shells to partially dissolve. Ooh. And with less players spawning in as snails, this in turn means more competition for their shell drops. But on top of this, choosing a good shell is getting harder due to an influx of plastic garbage polluting all the best looting areas. Now, while hermit the crabs best are adaptable, areas. and in some cases can even turn this into a win, plastic shells simply are inferior to the calcium shells dropped by defeated gastropods. But when the resource pool is constantly diluted with these low-quality drops, it's hard for builds with low intelligence, like the hermit crab, to consistently separate shell from trash. This writing is amazing. Like, like he took the time to, to write this out. I... I greatly appreciate that. That's fucking awesome. Me, I'm more of a chaotic type of person. I can write things out, and beautifully, in fact. But i rather not, because I like the free nature of being just raw and rugged. But I absolutely love this. And what I have to say is, holy shit, instead of record, why not pick up the fucking trash? I mean, it's not... I mean, it's not their responsibility, but it's really... I feel like it's really weird. I hope at least after the video, they, after filming these little buggers running across, like, you know, plastic bottles and shit, they just try to clean up what they found. I mean, like, right, if we're going to be team series, I mean, why not do that? Though maybe I'm being a little bit of a hypocrite, because maybe I would leave it there, too. Ultimately, this is not a... I wouldn't pollute the water, though. Problem Come on, hermit crab mains should be subjected to. And to be honest, compared to other beach-dwelling builds, hermit crabs have it pretty good. The abundance of garbage on beaches oh. can be hugely damaging to less adaptable builds, and something needs to be done. 
This is why I joined Team Seas, an initiative started by some of the best creators on the internet. Our goal is to remove 30 million pounds of trash from the ocean. And to do that, we need your help. It's quite simple, really. Each dollar donated equates to one pound of trash deleted from the- Wait, that's cool, but is that it? Is this the rest of the Team C ad? I'm going to, I'm just going to hop it just cause, but obviously show support the team sees if you want to help out. Button if you're trying to speed run your conservation efforts, <laughs> Team Zoo will speed. also be donating to the cause. So I hope you'll join me in giving hermit crabs as well as dozens of other beach dwelling builds the buff they deserve. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, good luck out there. Whoa, that was cool. That was a really cool video. I'm glad I saved that to watch. Um, can I actually? Uh, how do you? One sec. Uh, I'll just do. I'm I'm doing this right now. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. Because, again, I, I feel really weird about people, like, showing when they're doing nice things, depending on how it looks and how it's framed. But I want to at least put a dollar in. I could put a dollar in. I feel like that's a good cause. I feel like, you know, why not? You got a dollar, give a dollar, right? So, anyways. Oh, and by their plan is to do it by January 1st. That's funny. That's crazy. Um... Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Again, um, Tier Zoo, if you'd like me to take down the video, I'll take it down. Much love and light to everyone. I'll see you in the next one.